So oftentimes you hear rhetoric from Fox News and various people on the far right about class warfare. They say, oh, there's class warfare going on, but you're attacking the rich, that's what you're doing. It's middle class people and poor people, these unwashed masses, these herds that are coming after the hard working, you know, productive rich people. And we don't think that's right. We need to stop this class warfare and let people, what they earn, they keep. That's, you know, their perception of it. Well, there's a new study out from the Economic Policy Institute. Employers steal billions, billions from workers' paychecks each year. Survey data uh, show millions of workers are paid less than minimum wage at significant cost to taxpayers and state economies. All right, so let me give you some key facts here from the report. In the 10 most populous states in the country, each year, 2.4 million workers covered by state or federal minimum wage laws report being paid less than the applicable minimum wage in their state. Approximately 17% of the eligible low-wage workforce. The total underpayment of wages to those workers amounts to over $8 billion annually. If the findings for these states are representative for the rest of the country, they suggest that the total wages stolen from workers due to minimum wage violations exceeds $15 billion each year. Workers suffering minimum wage violations are underpaid an average of $64 per week, nearly one quarter of their weekly earnings. This means that a victim who works year-round is losing on average $3,300 per year and receiving only $10,500 in annual wages. Okay, so do you know what these numbers, what, what this means? This means that wage theft is greater than robberies, burglaries, larceny, and vehicle theft combined. So when you think about criminals, genuine criminals who steal shit, you go, oh, fucking loathsome scum, right? That's what you think. That's what everybody thinks. You're gonna steal somebody. What's wrong with you? Employers steal more from workers. Employers steal more from workers than all robberies, burglaries, larceny, and vehicle theft combined. There's class warfare going on, and it's being waged by the rich on the middle class and the poor. And just like they mentioned in the title here, that costs you money even more so. Because when somebody's not making a living wage, and even if they were making minimum wage, it's still not a living wage, but you have to make up the slack. Because that's why we have, you know, government programs, whether it be Medicaid, whether it be, you know, various welfare programs, whether it be, there's, uh, you know, uh, food stamps, which uh, it's called the SNAP program now. But you need these programs because... You have to make up the difference somehow of, okay, the corporation that they're working for, the business that they're working for is not paying them a living wage, so how do they live? How do they survive? They have to get something from a program, a government program. So instead of the corporation or the company that they're working for paying them a living wage, the taxpayers have to rush in, you have to rush in and bail them out, because the corporation and the company and the CEO and the owner, they're the moocher, they're the parasite. So, the whole dynamic that you're used to hear, productive, rich folks, no, 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 no. What we're talking about is the exact opposite. When you have more wage theft, more robbery, theft, from the rich on the poor and the middle class, then all robberies, burglaries, larceny, and vehicle theft combined, that says something now, doesn't it? And also, I haven't even brought up the tax dodging. When you shove 450, you dodge 450 billion dollars a year in taxes, that also means you gotta make up the slack with your tax dollars. That's what that means. So these guys dodge paying their taxes, get corporate welfare and government subsidies, don't pay a living wage, don't pay even the minimum wage, and they steal more from poor workers than all robberies, burglaries, larceny, and vehicle theft combined. Tell me where the real class warfare is. It's by the rich on the middle class and the poor, and that's a fact, and the numbers and the studies prove it.